Okay, I'm going to press A to deselect. We're still on face select. I'm going to click here, hold shift, then click here, here, as well as here. Okay, I'm going to hold the middle mouse button to rotate the view. I want to make the eyes, the plane of the eyes, be uh, more flat. I'm going to press R to rotate on the Z axis. I'm going to roll the area of influence, roll the mouse wheel to decrease the area of influence like that. I'm going to press S to skill on the X axis. Like that. Holding the middle mouse button to take a look. Press S to skill on the Z axis like that. A little. I'm going to then press A to deselect. I'm going to press C to reselect. I'm then going to right click to get out of paint select. I'm then going to press E to extrude and then right click to get that geometry to stay in place. I'm then going to press, I'm going to right click. I made a mistake. I'm going to turn this proportional editing off. So I'm going to press O. That takes this back to regular proportional editing. I'm going to press O again. Now that turns it off. Now I'm going to press S to scale down like this. And I'm going to press S to scale on the Z axis like that. I'm going to press S to scale on the X axis like this. I'm then going to left click to lock that in. Okay, I'm holding the middle mouse button to rotate the view. I'm going to move the faces back slightly like that. Holding the middle mouse button to rotate the view. I'm going to press R to rotate slightly like that. I'm then going to left click to lock that in. I'm then going to press X to bring up our delete menu. I'm then going to choose faces to delete. Okay, now we're going to click here to go to edge select. I'm then going to hold alt and then while holding alt click here because I was holding alt this entire edge loop was selected. With that selected we're going to hold shift and then while holding shift we're going to press S. This brings up our snap to menu. We're then going to choose cursor to selected. Okay what we want to do now is click here then go to object mode. We're then going to hold shift and then while holding shift press A. This brings up our add menu. We're then going to select UV sphere. We're going to look over to our left. Make sure you're scrolled up to the top of the uh, options for this UV sphere. Where it says segments, you want to click here. Change these segments to 12, then press enter. Where it says rings, you want to click here. And then change the rings to 12 as well and press enter. Okay, for now... It would be easier, I think, if we just focused on the eye. So see where it says view global slash local. Currently, we're in global view. We're going to go into local mode uh, by clicking here. When we go into local mode, we'll only see what we're currently selected on, which is our eye. So we're going to click here, and then that brought us into uh, local uh, view. We're going to click front to go to front view. With this selected, we're going to click here. We're then going to go into edit mode. Now with this selected, we're going to press R to rotate on the x-axis, 9, 0, and then left click to lock that rotation movement in. Okay, now we're going to press A to deselect. We're going to click here to go to face select. I'm going to hold the middle mouse button to rotate the view. What we want is this middle ring as well as this ring right here. So we're going to press C. We're then going to paint select all of this ring right here. I'm then going to right click to get out of paint select. I'm going to hold the middle mouse button to rotate the view a little bit more. We're now going to press S to scale on the Y axis negative one and then left click to lock that scale in. Okay and what this does is this uh, gives us a quick way to generally shape the eye. Uh, we're getting, you know, because we, we're, we're shaping the entire body, the entire face, you know, all of that. The plan is for the hair, you know, uh, you know, we're, we're doing, you know, the eye fairly quickly. I like how this method works. It makes the eye look fairly good. It does a fairly quick job. However, if you want to do a very realistic eye, my wife has an excellent video on doing uh, realistic eyes with the you know, shading, everything. Uh, I'll put a link up here so you can get to that. Uh, however, this this technique is nice as far as, you know, just quick getting a, a quick eye that, you know, will work for what we need. 
So uh, we're going to press A to deselect. We're still on face select. I'm going to hold the normal mouse button to rotate the view. Okay, so now I'm going to hover here. I'm going to press C for paint select. I'm going to select all of these faces right here. I'm going to right click to get out of paint select. I'm holding the mouse button to rotate the view. I'm changing the view just so I can see we're about to extrude this in. This view is just, you know, nice for letting us see the geometry as it goes in. So we're going to press E to extrude on the Y axis. We're going to take that in just like that. I'm then going to left click to lock that uh, extrusion movement in. I'm then going to press A to deselect. Okay, we're going to put a subdivision surface modifier on this eye. That'll smooth most of the eye out. However, there's some areas that we do not want to be smoothed out. One of those areas is right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Edge Select by clicking there. We're going to hold Alt. We're going to click here. We're then going to hold Control, and then while holding Control, we're going to press B. We're now going to pull to the side a little like that, and then going to left click to... Uh, lock that in. What we just did was a bevel. Uh, and when you look to the left, you can see right here it says bevel. These are bevel options. You want to change this so it says segments two. Then you want to change this profile so that it says one. Then we're going to press enter to lock that in. And what this is for is that when we put the subdivision surface on here, which pretty much smooths uh, out all of this geometry, because these edges are so close to each other, they will keep this edge hard. We also want to do the same thing for this edge. So we're going to press A to deselect. Okay, so with edge select still on, we're going to hold Alt. We're then going to click here. We're going to hold Control. Then while holding Control, press B. I'm going to pull to the side slightly. I'm then going to left click. You saw that like it, it like jumped in and out. I don't know why I did that, but it's still the same. It's still good. So we're going to press A to deselect. So now. We're going to use a shortcut to put the subdivision surface on here. We're going to press A to select this entire eye. We're then going to hold control and then while holding control, press 2. And that automatically put a subdivision surface modifier on here. Right? These are the options for that subdivision surface modifier. We're going to click here. Uh, it gave us a view of 2. You know, we want to smooth this out, so we're going to press Z and then we're going to select Shade Smooth. So now we have our eye right there. We're now going to Click here and then go to object mode. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're in local mode. If you turn on Blender and you're like, where is everything? Make sure you check here and make sure it doesn't say local if you're thinking that. Because it says local, we can click here. and we, we click here, we'll see the rest of our geometry. So let's left click. And there's the rest of our geometry there. Okay, what we're going to do now is press S to scale like that. I'm going to take the manipulator and you know, pull this eye back into place. I'm holding control in the middle mouse button to zoom in. Take a look at it. Okay, I'm going to pull this to the side. Just more like that. I'm holding the middle mouse button to take a look. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to click here to go to front view. We need to duplicate this eye and then put that duplicate on this side. To do that, we're going to hold shift and then while holding shift, press C. Okay, what Blender did, it zoomed us out. That wasn't the, the thing that I wanted. What I wanted was uh, for the 3D cursor to be in the center, which it should be. So it zoomed us out is fine. We're going to hover our mouse here, hold shift and while holding shift, press B. We're then going to draw a zoom box that zooms us pretty close back to where we want it to be. I'm going to hold control in the, in the middle mouse button to zoom in. With this eye selected, you can see like the orange right there, so it's selected. I'm going to hold shift. Then while holding shift, press D. I'm going to pull this to the side. So now I know there's definitely a duplicate here. I'm going to right click to get that duplicate to jump back into place. Here's the 3D cursor here, right? We're going to click here, and we're going to change this pivot point from Blender's default pivot point, which is the medium point, to the 3D cursor. So now this is the pivot point. So with that done, and with the duplicate I selected, we're going to press S to scale on the x-axis, negative 1, and then left-click to lock that movement in. Okay, with that done, what we're going to do is click here. We're going to change our pivot point from the 3D cursor back to Blender's default pivot point, which is the medium point, by left-clicking here. 